Hey, what's up guys? Rob from ClicksGeek. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up conversion tracking in Google Ads. And this is for form submissions, so contact form submissions. Before I get into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the description. There's lots of free trainings, courses, um, an application page to work with us if you're a business owner and want us to run your Google Ads, and a lot of other cool stuff. All right, uh, we're in our demo account here. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to log into your Google Ads. And we're going to come up to the wrench icon, tools and settings. We come to the drop down box here, conversions. You probably see a bunch of old ones that I have set up. Yep. So, what you're looking at here is the uh, conversion section of your Google Ads account. Now, this is really simple. Um, and then Google has recently changed it up a little bit, so I'm going to kind of show you both ways to do it now for um, contact form leads. So, we're going to do a new conversion action, website. All right, and it's asking you to put your domain in now. So you'll put your domain in. Hit scan. Google's scanning your website. All right. So you can add a page load as a conversion action. Or you can add conversion actions manually, where you install um, a bunch of uh, codes on the, on the website and thank you page and that's usually a global site tag and event snippet code so the new way is to add a page load and that will as soon as this page loads it tells Google okay this is a conversion and it fires as a lead in your um, campaign so you select a conversion goal contact or submit lead form whichever whatever you want to do there URL starts with so for us for ClicksGeek it would be be a thank you page or so whatever your I spelled that wrong either way it doesn't matter <clears throat> um, so you're gonna put your thank you page URL here or whatever page URL that you want to someone to land on and it's gonna tell Google that's a lead but it's important that if it's a contact form they fill out a form and they get redirected to some kind of page that only traffic can get to that page is by submitting a form all right so that's really important then you will just hit add I spelled it wrong. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I don't have my glasses with me right now. That counts. Slash thank you. Add. Okay. So we have our conversion action set up for a page load on our thank you page. Then we're going to come down here and go to save and continue. We're going to take the global site tag. You're going to copy it. It tells you right up here. You're going to paste it between the um, header tag. All right, and this needs to go on every page of your website, all right, including the thank you page in the head tag. So once you do that, you paste that in the head tag, hit done, and you're good to go. So that is the first way, the new way to set up the conversion tracking, all right? It's a page load. So you're just putting in the thank you page. The next way is the old way, conversion action, website, scan again. And instead of doing a page load, we'll come down here to add conversion actions manually using code. At, we're going to click this little button here. Come down to contact or submit lead form, book appointment, whatever you want to call it. doesn't really matter. I always do contact. And I'll just change it to contact form lead. We'll just do two because I probably have a bunch of those created in this demo account. Um, you can choose a, a value for each conversion or not. It's up to you. If you're doing lead generation, I always do one. I don't want to have some kind of accidental one lead counts as two and then it throws off all of your numbers. Click through conversion window, 30 days. Engage view conversion window, three days. View through one day, that's good. Attribution model, data driven is the recommended now. I just use that. Or you can do last click. There's a bunch of different options, but last click or data driven should be fine. Hit done. All right, so we convert. We uh, created our conversion action. Save and continue. All right, we're going to take the global site tag again. So for this one, we're going to paste this in the header tag on the every page of the website or your landing page, all your landing pages, including the thank you page. Very important. Then we're going to come down here. We're going to click this, see event tag. You're going to copy this. Now this tag needs to go in the header only on the thank you page. Very, very important. 
You cannot place this tag anywhere else. It's going to count every visit as a conversion. So global site tag goes on every page, including the thank you page. Event snippet tag goes only on the thank you page. You can just place it directly below the global site tag on the thank you page. So once you do that, hit done, and that's it. And now you are fully set up to track all contact form submissions via Google Ads. Hopefully this kind of demystifies the new um, way that they're, they've rolled this out. I know we keep getting questions about it, so I want to make this video. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, as always, if you are new to the channel, subscribe and check out the links in the description. Lots of stuff in there. All right, guys, I'll see you in tomorrow's video.